welcome to science easy tech channel in this video we are going to see an example for call pearson coefficient of correlation already i have posted your video on call pearson correlation of coefficient is theory formula as well as an example sum also has been discussed in my previous video i'll be giving the link of that video in the description box suggested end card and i card so this question was particularly asked in the year february 2022 question paper for bsc nursing fourth year students in the subject nursing research and statistics taken from dr ntr university of health sciences vijayawada andhra pradesh so the question what we are going to discuss was asked in university question paper that to in essay session okay in essay in statistics they have asked so compute call pearson correlation coefficient for the following data they have given the data weight in kgs and cholesterol in milligram per deciliter weight in kg and cholesterol in milligram per deciliter weight in kg it is 60 kg 70 kg 80 kg 90 kg for 60 kg the cholesterol level is 120 for 70 kg the cholesterol level is 130 for 80 kg the cholesterol level is 140 and for 90 kg the cholesterol level is 150 so we all know that the formula for coefficient of correlation by call pearson method so call pearson correlation co coefficient formula r is equal to summation that is sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar or you can tell summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square into square root of sigma y minus y bar whole square so this is the formula the detailed video you as i have told earlier already i have posted you can watch our channel playlist call pearson correlation of coefficient in statistics so let's see how we can compute this thing so first thing what we have to take the given values weight in kg no you have to put it in x column so the weight in kg values what and all 60 70 80 90 comes in x column the cholesterol values will be coming in y column 120 130 140 and 150 will be coming in y column so let's see so first what you have to do you have to take x value 60 70 80 90 then y values 120 130 140 150 then what you have to find data has they have given x value and y value so first you have to find out x bar then you have to find out y bar so how to calculate x bar what is the formula yes x bar is equal to sigma x minus uh, sigma x divided by n sorry okay so x bar what is the formula x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n how many n values n means how many values they have given 1 2 3 4 in y also the n value is 4 1 2 3 4 so x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n so sigma x everything you have to add 60 plus 70 plus 80 Plus ninety. Add everything divided by n. What is n? N is four. So when you are adding everything, you will be getting three hundred divided by four. What is three hundred divided by four? The answer is seventy-five. Therefore, x bar is equal to how much? Seventy-five. So now what we have to do? So now we have to. find out x minus x bar so how we will find out x minus x bar what is the x bar value we have found out yes we have found out the x bar value is what 75 so each x value you have to minus with 75 so first x value is 60 60 minus 75 is equal to minus 15 70 minus 75 is equal to minus 5. 80 minus 75 is equal to plus 5. 90 minus 75 is equal to plus 15. Okay, 
So next we have found out x bar and from x bar we have found out what x minus x bar. Okay, then what we have to find out? Yes, y bar. So how we have to find out y bar? Same procedure. Y bar is equal to sigma y divided by n. So let's see how we can find out this. So I told y bar is equal to summation of y minus uh, divided by n. Sigma y divided by n. So add all the y values. 120 plus 130 plus 140 plus 150 add everything and divide it by n n is how much i told four values okay so four you have to put so when you are adding all the values you will be getting 540 540 divided by 4 which is equal to 135 therefore y bar is equal to 135 x bar how we have found out 75 similarly y bar we have found out the value is 135 so next to what we have to do we have to find out y minus y bar so let's see how we will find out y minus y bar so next we are founding out y minus y bar. So how we are founding y minus y bar? y minus 135. y bar is how much? 135. So 120 minus 135 is minus 15. 130 minus 135 is minus 5. 140 minus 135 is plus 5. 150 minus 135 is equal to plus 15. So, we have found out x minus x bar and y minus y bar. So, next what we have to find out? We have to find out summation of x minus x bar into y minus y bar. Okay. So, what we have to do? We have to multiply x minus x bar value into y minus y bar value. So minus 15 into minus 15 minus into minus becomes plus. Okay. So minus 15 into minus 15 is equal to plus 225. Minus 5 into minus 5 is equal to plus 25. 5 into 5 is equal to 25. 15 into 15 is equal to 225. So now you have to add all the values to get sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So add everything. 225 plus 25 plus 25 plus 225. When you are adding all the things you will be getting the answer 500. So next to what we want in the denominator. So numerator we have found out. So in the denominator you are having sigma x minus x bar whole square. Then y minus y bar whole square. So next to what you have to do. You have to find out x minus x bar whole square. And y minus y bar whole square. So minus 15 into 5, minus 15 225 minus 5 into minus 5 25 5 into 5 25 15 into 15 225 similarly y minus y bar whole square you have to find out minus 15 into minus 15 225 minus 5 into minus 5 25 5 into 5, 25. 15 into 15, 225. So when you are squaring also, you will be getting the uh, same thing. Because all the numbers are same, so you will be getting the same answers only. So then you have to find out so sigma x minus x bar whole square. So you have to add all the things. If you are adding all the things, the answer is 500. Even for y minus y bar whole square itself, if you are adding all the things, it is 500. So from this data itself, you can tell that R is 1. But let's substitute in the calculation because the numerator, denominator, everything comes 500. So you can easily tell that it is 1. But in mathematics, we have to follow the steps. So let's substitute the data, the given data, what we have found out in the formula and we can compute the answer.
so what is called pearson's correlation of coefficient formula r is equal to sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by square root of sigma x minus x bar whole square into square root of sigma y minus y bar whole square so we have found out now what is a sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar already in the tabular column we have found out it is 500 then sigma x minus x bar whole square also 500 sigma y minus sigma y minus y bar whole square is also 500 so substitute in the given formula r is equal to 500 divided by square root of 500 into square root of 500 okay so which is equal to 500 divided by square root of 500 into 500 so you can write it as 500 divided by square root of 500 whole square so in max we have learned the square and square root will get cancelled so the square The square and the square root gets cancelled thereby 500 divided by 500 which is equal to 1. So R is equal to 1 which is perfect positive correlation R is equal to 1. So R is equal to 1. So the inference is the inference for the following given data is there is a perfect positive correlation between weight and also the cholesterol values. If weight increases, the cholesterol value also increases. So there is a perfect positive correlation. Since R is 1, it indicates that there is a perfect positive correlation between weight and also the cholesterol values. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and uh, also I cards. So you can uh, watch our channel playlist statistics as well as nursing research and statistics for more videos. Uh, thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.